Now, in the developed markets, you've got drugs worth several billions of dollars that are coming off patents in the next, say, five or so years. Uh, now, you, for your own company, you are in charge, of course, of the global operations as well. Do you think that is where the big growth is going to come from in the next five years? Or is it going to be the domestic markets, given the kind of spending power that is uh, increasing within India itself? As far as anti-cancer segments are, is concerned, there is about $5 billion worth of uh, cancer products which are going off patent in the next two years. So we look forward for a big opportunity to enter the anti-cancer segment uh, and enter the regulated markets in Europe and US. As far as domestic marketing is concerned, patents are not an issue. It is a high spending market. It is growing at 15% a year. India is the third largest pharmaceutical consumer in the world and huge opportunity for a company like us to have a pan-India set up for a distribution network mm. wherein we can sell our generic products mm. because India is a highly price conscious market. Mm -hmm. So we are setting up a pan-India distribution network for our range of branded generic products. Okay, so um, is there any estimate of you know uh, how big uh, the, these markets can grow to develop? For instance, everyone now uh, across uh, the industry is looking at the generics market in the U.S. You've got this new healthcare regulation, the reform that has been put into place last year. How much of an opportunity do you think that will provide, um, say, in terms of growth of the market for Indian manufacturers? The U.S. market has been growing very slowly compared to the other markets, but with the reforms in the regulations coming in as far as generic products are concerned, Indian companies have a huge op opportunity, specifically in the cancer segment, which is growing at about uh, $571 million. So we are looking forward towards entering those segments as well as the other emerging countries which have higher health care costs and hardly any pharmaceutical companies uh, to have uh, their in-house production are looking towards India and China for their low-cost products. So we're looking at an opportunity to enter the emerging markets along with our presence in Europe and America. Mm -hmm. We'll talk about some of those markets in a bit more depth, Mr. Vishwanatha. When we come back from a quick break, we're talking about the pharmaceutical industry, the opportunities and the challenges in conversation with Kanan Vishwanath, Vice Chairman and MD of uh, Engineer Life Care. Back in a minute. I'm in conversation today with Mr. Kanan Vishwanath. He's the Vice Chairman and Managing Director of Anjaneya Life Care Limited. It's a pharmaceutical company that focuses on anti-malarial, anti-cancer drugs, among others, uh, within India and also abroad. They're coming up with an IPO in uh, the next few months, and we are talking to them about their business plans going into the future. Mr. Vishwanath, uh, as an industry insider, what do you make of these public health initiatives of the government? I'm talking about things like the polio eradication drive, with in India. You've spoken about how big the malaria market is in Africa. You've also got another big market in, uh, in terms of AIDS in Africa. How much of a potential does this present to people like you as pharmaceutical players? Um, and, uh, you know, is, the, is this money from the government being spent well enough? As far as the government initiatives are concerned, the major initiative the government is trying to bring down as far as healthcare costs are concerned is with Jan Ayushadi. This is something which is going to be a generic drug stores, which is going to come up in all districts within India, wherein basic generic medications are going to be supplied 50% less to the MRP prices to the poorest of poor. Here, the uh, rural Indian has an opportunity to get access to the best medication at the best possible prices. So government is in conversation with major pharma companies to bring down the prices of generic products so mm. that it can be made affordable. Mm. So, and government is giving a lot of initiatives towards R&D, towards uh, expansion of ex uh, existing capacities of smaller companies through capital uh, initiatives as well as some income tax benefits. As far as Africa is concerned, uh, the, we do not get any kind of benefits as far as exports in, is concerned in ma various uh, segments, be it malarial or AIDS. But uh, within India, there are a lot of initiatives going forward, and we believe that generic medication is going to be the word in the next 10 years. Okay. So at the current uh, level of sort of uh, development of the market and at the current price levels, um, about 
20 percent of uh, the the healthcare sales within India are coming from the rural market right now. How much of your sales are from the rural segment? And more importantly, what kind of growth prospects do you see over there? How much do you think this market can develop, and how much of the pie can it take up in the next few years? There's a higher healthcare penetration within the rural market. There is a higher insurance coverage. There is higher spending. There is more money available in the rural market. So we see rural markets going forward as a much larger pie than the urban market in the next five years. As far as our branded generic segment is concerned, it is mostly focused for the tier two, tier three cities as well as for the rural segment. So 100% of our sales is going into the tier two cities or into the rural segment. And we okay. see it growing forward as a major initiative in the next five years.